हेलो माई सेल्फ सुनील शर्मा वर्किंग विद एस सी एस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड रुड़की टूडे आई विल डेमोस्ट्रेट द फोक प्रोक सेटअप फॉर मेजरिंग द रजिस्टिविटी ऑफ वेरी लो टू हाईली रजिस्टिव थिन शीट सैम्पल्स एट डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर्स मॉडल डी एफ पी आर एम एन एंड डी एफ पी आर एम एन सी वेन यू अनपैक द कार्टन बॉक्स विल गेट द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट फोक प्रोक सेटअप कंट्रोलर यूनिट बिल्ट इन कॉन्स्टेंट करंट सोर्स एंड वोल्ट मीटर यूनिट करंट सोर्स रेंज वर्स इन सिक्स डिकेट स्टेप्स टू माइक्रो एम्पियर ट्वेंटी माइक्रो एम्पियर टू हंड्रेड माइक्रो एम्पियर टू मिली एम्पियर ट्वेंटी मिली एम्पियर एंड टू हंड्रेड मिली एम्पियर एंड हैविंग मेजरमेंट रेंज फ्रॉम वन एनो एम्पियर टू टू हंड्रेड मिली एम्पियर वोल्ट मीटर रेंज मेजर्स इन फोर डिकेट स्टेप्स टू मिली वोल्ट ट्वेंटी मिली वोल्ट टू हंड्रेड मिली वोल्ट एंड टू वोल्ट एंड हैविंग मेजरमेंट रेंज फ्रॉम वन माइक्रो वोल्ट टू टू वोल्ट वोल्टेज ऑफ सेट एडजस्टमेंट एंड करंट एडजस्टमेंट पोटेंशियोमीटर करंट सोर्स आउटपुट टर्मिनल एंड वोल्टेज मेजरमेंट इनपुट टर्मिनल पी आई डी कंट्रोलर यूनिट विद ए स्मॉल ओवन सुटेबल फॉर टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर फोर बोर ऑफ अरेंजमेंट विद थर्मोकबल सेंसर एंड सुटेबल कनेक्टर्स फॉर करंट वोल्टेज एंड टेम्परेचर द अरेंजमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर पिंस इन विच आउटर टू पिंस आर फॉर करंट एंड इनर टू पिंस आर फॉर वोल्टेज थ्री सैंपल्स एल्युमिनियम फॉयल सिलिकन एन टाइप चिप जर्मेनियम एन टाइप चिप एंड एम्बरी पाउडर मैनुअल एंड टेस्ट रिजल्ट If you have ordered DFP RM 200 NC model, your package will also contain SESCAM with software CD, USB cable, and leads to connect the SESCAM with the main unit and computer. Before starting, the experiment makes sure the surface of the sample should be conducting. In some cases, like that of germanium and silicon, oxidation layer is formed. due to atmosphere which cause error in readings remove this layer by gently rubbing the sample against glass surface with a pinch of ambery powder and a drop of water for 1 minute thereafter clean the sample in running water and dry it now it is ready to use try germanium n type sample first unscrew the four pin pipe from the arrangement take out the pipe and check the four pin movement place the sample on the base plate it should be center of the four pins and press the four pins very gently and tighten it by the screw put it this arrangement inside the oven connect the current voltage and temperature connectors to their suitable sockets switch on the pid control oven and four probe setup pid control unit shows the two temperatures pv and sv pv shows the chamber temperature and sv is the desired temperature you can be set it here at the time when you set the desired temperature oven uh, should be off and it can be set with these three arrows key set a current say 5 milliampere select a suitable range for current and voltage values set a required current by 
changing the cursor position with short press of current knob to any digit required and set the value by rotating current knob. Now, get a proportional voltage. If the selected range is outside the operational range, it will indicate high on the display. Now, long press the current adjustment knob to switch current output off. The voltage value coming on the panel is adjusted with the offset adjustment knob. Again, a single press the current adjustment knob and get the adjusted current value with its correspondingly developed voltage at ambient temperature. Now, oven may now be switched on and wait for some time till PV and SV stabilized and matched. Now note down the value of voltage corresponding to that temperature. Now change the voltage range to take the correct reading. For germanium sample besides resistivity we can calculate band gap also. Similarly, we can perform experiment with aluminum and silicon samples, but at room temperature only. Band gap measurement of these samples is not possible due to limited range of oven temperature. Take the proper value of correction factor while calculating the resistivity of the sample. This is the equation used for resistivity calculation. For details about the derivation of this equation, you may refer to user's manual equation number 3. Since the thickness of the crystal is very small compared to probe distance, a correction factor G7 for non-conducting bottom surface will need to be applied to get correct resistivity. Again, the details can be studied in user's manual. After calculation, we get the value of resistivity and band gap of aluminum sample and germanium n-type crystal. Similarly, we can calculate resistivity of silicon sample at room temperature. All the calculated values are within accepted experimental error of a standard value. Many conventional methods for measuring resistivity are unsatisfactory. 4 pro method is one of the most commonly used method for accurate measurement of resistivity. With this method, slow, size, contact resistance, etc. does not come into play. This setup can measure reasonable white resistivity range around 10 to the power minus ohm centimeter to 10 to the power plus 6 ohm centimeter. If you have ordered DFP RM200 NC01, your package will also contain SESCAM with software CD, USB cable, and leads to connect the SESCAM with the main unit and computer. Make all connections with the given leads having their own connectors from main unit to computer using the supplied interface unit. Install the software. Before starting the experiment, open the help slide and read it carefully step by step. Next click view option and check the connected COM port of the computer. Now feed this COM port number and click connect option. If the system is connected, it will show green color. Next, choose the required experiment option, resistivity measurement or band gap measurement. Further, fill the required information as it appears in the dialog box. Here, just to show the variety, we will do measurement on aluminum sample. If the resistivity measurement option is selected, 
a dialog box will open requesting further information of the sample. Feed all required information and click OK. Now set an initial current to say around 50 milliampere and record the corresponding voltage reading by clicking on record option. Raise value of current till 200 milliampere and keep on recording the voltage values. Finally click on calculate option to get final results. Save this table and results in excel file. If the band gap measurement option is selected, fill the required sample information in dialog box and click OK. Set an initial current to say 5 milliampere and set a desired temperature say 50 degree. Allow the temperature rise to desired value and stabilize. Click on record option as the temperature is stabilized. Similarly keep on rising the temperature at fixed interval and record all the data. Finally after all observations are complete click on calculate option. The result are all automatically calculated and displayed on a screen. You may save all the above information in excel file. Thank you for seeing this video. For details of our other products please visit our website www.sasinstruments.com. Thank you. Have a nice day.